But you gotta be there for me too Okay, so we're here once again in Sight Simulator and as you can see once again above my head we have now moved up again to 75th so we are now within the top three quarters of the all-time rebirth leaderboard um, so how much did I need to get to 75 well one whole trillion rebirths we finally got to a trillion rebirths uh, I did it about well let's say 12 hours maybe before recording this what time is it now it is exactly 12 o'clock so maybe 13 hours before recording this uh, so as you, obviously as you can see I am already once again extremely close to rebirthing uh, I'm currently at uh, 3.4 septillion I need another one septillion uh, it shouldn't take me too long I should actually get it by today then hopefully I might be within the top 70 uh, I can't actually check because still scrolling is broken and also scrolling is broken on this but uh, I know that I'm actually quite high up maybe on this uh, rebirth comp leaderboard sadly I have not gotten any of my rewards yet if I did I'd probably be within uh, the crystal cave right now uh, if we head over to the crystal cave um, well I don't really need to I've only got a 9 billion uh, crystals not really that important so I'm just going to stay in the lava wasteland until I get this rebirth and until I get basically all my rewards for the look and stuff but yeah so what did my team look like or what has it looked like to get me to 1 trillion rebirths so obviously right now we have a pretty overpowered team we have the Oceanic Blazing Gem at 16k uh, the All Seen Water High Champion at 12k uh, the Ultimate Top Hat 12.5k the Ominous Crystal Lord at 14k uh, All Seen Grand Champion at 11k and two Angelic High Champions at 11k each and a Galactic, well an Ascended Galactic Puffer Fish at 12k along with some uh, some nice shiny ascended legendaries so that's what my team looks like right now but what has it looked like well if we go into my index and we scroll across to well basically the cactus egg um, this was mainly when mutations were around uh, I got a lot of corrupt uh, moons, some corrupt and galactic pet earths and a corrupt pet sun so that was basically what my first team more or less looked like when I started properly grinding rebirths more or less um, and then I obviously got some more stuff um, from the egg um, but then we need to kind of fast forward way past the gradient egg way past the valentine's egg to the oceanic nostalgia egg so yeah this is more or less where it kind of properly started where I more or less started properly rebirthing uh, as you can see here we have the, we have hatched the oceanic diamond uh, I've got a video about that on my channel uh, but this was actually before uh, the stats boost when everything came up to basically 10k and above uh, I'm pretty sure this was only about 6k before the stat boost uh, I didn't have the lava champion I've not actually had the lava champion on my team properly um, but then we started to hatch a load of these, we hatched the Patriotic uh, Godly one, this is when the boost actually came as well for the stats, which is when I really started to grind it. So obviously we had a Patriotic Godly one on my team at some point, uh, we still have the Grand Champion, uh, and I obviously traded for a Water High Champion and an Angel an Angelic High Champion, uh, as you've seen them stats before. Uh, and then we actually moved, I think, this was before the pay, uh, the whatever you want to call it the nostalgia event I'm not too sure when this came out I can't quite remember uh, but obviously we had an ultimate uh, space Phaedra these didn't actually get much of a stat boost didn't actually get any stat boost at all so these is these are kind of like the things that I used to trade away uh, because obviously stat wise they're not the best didn't need them on my team so I traded them away uh, obviously if I got them before mutations went 
I could have they probably would have still been on my team I'm not too sure um, but yeah and then obviously we moved on to the ultimate uh, the patriotic St. Patrick's egg thingy uh, where we have the ultimate top hat this is on my team right now obviously if you have you seen uh, I didn't actually have the nurse statue someone traded it me so I could uh, actually have it in my inventory um, obviously some nice stats shiny would get up to 33k that'd be amazing if I had that um, but yeah that's basically what my team has been more or less most of the time it was actually corrupt like pet moons and pet suns and pet earths recently since mutations have gone we've had some more op pets and i've managed to actually trade for some hatch some get some on my team uh, thanks mainly thanks to my alt accounts actually uh, but yeah absolutely insane it took me how long to get here more or less a month and eight days to uh, get to a trillion rebirths we're about to get to 1.1 trillion or just before 1.1 trillion uh, as soon as we rebirth just need another 900 sextillion more or less or is it one sex uh, one septillion i think one septillion uh let's have a look yeah more or less one septillion and we'll be there uh obviously i'd have a lot more gems but gems are broken right now so yeah i'm hopefully just going to stay on these leaderboards forever hopefully i'm going get, to get some really good stuff and to end the video let's just open a couple of these crystal cave eggs maybe we can get a secret which would be absolutely hilarious uh, we've got some stuff there, we've got some stuff there, we've got some commons there. Uh, is it going to be more commons yet? Some more commons. Oh, we've got a rare, shiny rare, that's quite nice. Right, next time we get a full set of commons, the video is just going to end there abruptly. Well, there you go.